Hello. This is the Fordson Instrumental Music Spring Concert. My name is Mr. Guthrie. I am the musical director here of the Fight and Performing Arts. Here we go. We're going to play a tune from When Thou Art Near. It's an aria. It's composed by Johann Sebastian Bach. And it's arranged by Jerry Nowak. We hope you enjoy it. That was very good. Thank you. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Our next tune is called March of the Olympians. I believe strongly in playing uh, contemporary literature that also demonstrates a respect for past marches and things. This is March of the Olympians by Tommy Walker and Robert Lynn, and it's arranged by Jay Bocook. This is, uh, I really like this piece a lot. I hope you do too. March of the Olympians. Thank you. 
Give him another round of applause. That was nice. That was a very, that was very Olympic-like, I think. Not to throw a damper on things, this is one of the most performed choral pieces in the world. It has a less than enthusiastic title. It's called Come Sweet Death, by again, by Johannes... Sebastian Bach, and it's arranged and transcribed by Alfred Reed. Don't let the name bother you. This is good stuff. This is, this is real life repertoire here. So we hope you enjoy it. Come, I call it come sweetie. Thank you very much. Give another round of applause for that. Come, sweetie. Our next tune, we normally have a choreographed uh, introduction to it that we will pass on this evening. Um, it's called Wings by Vince Gassi. This original work, and it's, uh, it's pretty good. I really like it. I hope you like it too. Wings.
We're going to bring the jazz band out now. That concludes this portion. We will have the jazz band up and ready in six minutes. Hey, I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you students that are in my classes for coming. Thank you parents. Thank you uh, for supporting music. I wish, this, I wish we could, hopefully we're gonna fill this place with people appreciating this fine music shortly. Um, a, a, a thing happened this just recently where Dearborn Schools was again back in the top 100 of the uh, uh, it, instrumental music or music instruction education in a public school system. This is a hard time. Yes, let's let's have a round of applause for that. I don't have enough on. Uh, we had fallen off that for a while. I think one of the main things that got us back up over the hump was the fact that we now have uh, fledgling instrumental music programs back instilled on the feeder uh, groups, feeder schools to this school. Um, so we now have instrumental music teachers in place in all of the schools that feed this uh, fine facility. So we're looking forward to uh, Mr. Mosalem, our principal, who I'll, I also want to thank. Um, he wants this program, he wants this ensemble right here to be 100 people strong. In order to get this ensemble to be 100, I have to have things happening at the middle school on a, a pretty grand level. And I also have to have all of my ensembles. We have concert band, which right now is beginning. Hopefully that will come up a notch because they're gonna begin in the middle school. Then we have symphonic band, which is the next level up. We also have orchestra, which is beginning. Where's, my, where's some orchestra people? Do we have any orchestra people here? Hello, Miss Risk, how are you? Fatima, and there's Isra too. Your buddy's with Isra. Are you related? You're both risks. Oh. Just don't take risks. Never mind. And then what else do we have? We have the jazz band, which is the top jazz solos, which you're about to hear now. We do an improvisation thing, which I'm pretty good at. So this is something that really isn't offered on this intense level anywhere in the district. Um, we also had a wonderful, wonderful a uh, jazz workshop with the help of this young man right here, Mr. Hassan Sala. And I, he was over there, I think he's hiding on me now, Adam Dibb, who are both Wayne State warriors, warriors, that's what you are now. You're not fighting Tartars. I was a fighting Tartar. I'm Scott, so it's okay. But now they're uh, Wayne State Warriors. We had a wonderful jazz workshop, the first of many, hopefully, to come every year annually. Dearborn High came through this year. They, they played well. And uh, Mr. Chris Collins, the director, uh, had, had wonderful comments to make about them and made them sound much better right on the spot. It was really exciting. So next year we'll have Etzel involved, too. And hopefully we'll have more of my kids there as well. And then finally, this is the symphony orchestra, which is a combination of strings and band instruments. This is the one he wants to be 100 pieces. And then that way we'll, have all, we'll also have over 100 piece marching band, because he wants, he wants the mighty Fordson legacy that, of old to re, regrow again. So we're on the process of getting it together. Oh, I, I would say in the four years, I think we can make it, as long as we keep having support from the students their parents, and the community. Now, right now, the Fortson community is definitely supporting us well. A lot, of, a lot of kids and parents don't really understand what we're doing here. I really want you to understand, Western music is not rap. <laughs> I really want everybody to understand that very clearly. We, do not, we don't do any music that is rap-oriented. Everybody has their pants up, you know what I mean? We don't, you know, we don't, we just don't do that. And I, I, there, I feel there are many people that think that American music is rap. Well, rap is part of American music, but it is not the music that we espouse here in Dearborn Public Schools for music education. So, well, that said, this is a tune entitled Mr. PC by John Coltrane.
Imagine I had the pleasure of playing with him in Pittsburgh, I believe. Red's Good Groove by Red Garland. Thus, Red.
All right, hey, hey. Adam here, he was an obstinate student of mine a ways back. What, two years now? Three. Oh, I'm getting old. He's been three years out of Fort, you know, graduating from Fortson. What do you think of that boy's playing? I didn't want to try and play after all that stuff for crying out loud. <laughs> we have uh, one more shebang tune here. What do, what do I want to do? A big one. We're going to do the wake song. We're going to work it on out. This is Cannonball Adderley's brother, Nat Adderley, who happens to be a very fine trumpet player. He wrote this tune. It's called The Work Song. And we're going to try and work it right now.
We have Alyssa, oh my gosh, we have Alyssa Giga on violin. What time is it right now? We're going to play one more song. You're going to be solo. No, it's not. I er erroneously overlooked a very special treat for you, which is a violin soloing in a jazz style. I can't believe that I forgot this. I am sorry, Alyssa. Now she's all embarrassed, but that's okay. So we're gonna play one just for her. This is called Blues by Five.
Here we go. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. This is Alyssa, Al Alyssa Gega on the violin. We have Amina, Amina Curdy on the violin. We have Nadine Shoker. We have Hadil Musab. Masood. Uh, 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 Masood. Then we have the ever funky one, Kira Johnson. Zuhair El Kitchen. Adam, Adam, watch me burn dib. Victor Lindsay, another alumnus of uh, Farhan Shohati. I have uh, Eamon Dobke back there on the bass. Mahmoud El Said on guitar. John Duchef on guitar. Gabriel El Ali on the vibes. Justin Gonzalez on the drums. My name is Mr. Guthrie, and I bid you adieu. Thank you so much. <laughs>